Good morning, everyone. It is Voluptuous and Skinny, and I am here with Getting Rid of the Regain and our Made to Crave Day 12. <laughs> Can you believe it? Day 12. I can't believe that I've been, that I have submitted a video <laughs> every day, but I'm trying to hold myself accountable, and I'm trying to help you guys be accountable as well. So anyway, let's get started on day 12, and then I've got to get to work. So day 12, open up our Bible apps, made to crave, day 12, look at our devotional. Day 12, but I never feel full. For years, I walked around with a little heart-shaped cup in my soul, holding it out to people or things trying to find fulfillment. Some of us hold out our heart-shaped cup and expect a husband to love us in ways that rights or wrongs that rights our wrongs and fills up our insecurities. Sometimes we expect our kids to be successful so that we look good and feel validated by their accomplishments. Or we hope that a successful career will confirm that we are a valuable human being. At times I've asked the impossible of all of these, but my consistent friend of choice over the years has been food. Imagine my little heart-shaped cup as a candy dish, using sweets and snacks to soothe my emotions. That's me. I can raise, like my pastor said, both hands and a leg. <laughs> However, if we are going to replace destructive cycles with lasting changes in our lives, then we have to empty ourselves of the lie that other people or things can ever fill our hearts. Instead, we have to deliberately, deliberately fill up on God's truth and stand secure in his love. Here are some examples of how we can do that. First, old lie. I am such a failure when it comes to my diet. We are passing judgment and it is a lie. This is the new truth. I am not a failure. I am a lavishly loved child of God. Part of my right as a child of God is to operate in a power beyond myself. The Holy Spirit is God's gift to me, so it is possible for me to use the self-control I've been given. Another old lie. I need these Oreos. New truth. The thought that those Oreos will fill me is a lie. They will taste good for just the few minutes it will take to eat them. Then that hollow feeling of guilt will rush in as soon as the chocolate has dis chocolate high has dissipated. If I truly need a snack right now, I am capable of choosing a healthier option. Another old lie. God seems far away, and french fries are right around the corner at the drive-thru. New truth. French fries don't love me. And the only lasting thing I get from them is the cholesterol and cellulite they inevitably leave behind, which will just compound my frustration. God's love is here in the moment and in many more to come. His love is true and carries with it only positive residual effects. Now examine how you can replace the lies and rationalizations in your mind with the truth of God's love. Experience the power of renewing your mind and learning that food was never meant to fulfill the deepest places of your heart. And as Ephesians 3.19 reminds, may you understand that the only way to true satisfaction is to be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Good word. Ephesians 3.19 And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now, wouldn't that be a blessing? Instead of filling up with food to try and chase our emotions, that we fill up with God. This past week, I was saying that my emotional bank account was so low. It was so low. And I think that that was another reason why I was craving so many sweets and just different foods. I just wanted more. But I'm so thankful to be able to have God to talk to and also to have Corey to talk to and really just God and Corey. 
<laughs> for the most part. But I'm thankful for that because it helped me kind of work through some things. Well, and also my therapist. <laughs> Um, but it helped me work through some things that I was feeling. And it allowed me to be able to turn to other things instead of, and not other things, but to the right things instead of turning to food. All right. Based on today's reading, what is one thing that God is saying to you? All right, y'all. Day 12. Y'all have an awesome day 12, and I will see y'all soon. Peace out, babies. Mwah.